Aloha, it's Dr. Dixon, and I'm going to be doing a, an eyeshadow with the new Shadow FX needle. This is happens to be pewter in one side, and then I'm going to go ahead and put pewter and a couple drops of scatter because I want to make this side a little more translucent. Here's a fine tip makeup brush that I'm going to paint it on with as soon as I remove the topical anesthetic. You're going to need the topical anesthetic even above the eyelid crease so that they're comfortable and you just roll it off here. And now we may have to touch up your um, eyeliner, okay, because sometimes this eyeshadow um, softens the top um, line of your eyeshadow, okay? So, but I don't want to do that in the same day because then it starts getting mixed up. And so I'm going to train my brain and go right along this eyeshadow crease, right along there. Actually, the second time we do this, today's the first time, of course, but the second time we do this, it's going to be easier because you will have some new baby collagen in there and more color will go in. You're going to hear sort of like a, a little tapping sound, but it should be comfortable. It shouldn't hurt. You okay? Mm -hmm. It's not scary because it's not right near your eye, you know. It's, um, so it's a little safer feeling than when we do eyeliner. I would keep the Retin-A away from this mm -hmm. because it will it will potentially lighten it. So even the Retin-A Micro, or, um, I wouldn't put it up here. It's going to take a few days to heal. You don't bleed, but you get a few what we call dots here of punctate bleeding. You know, little. It tells us we're in the right level and that you're alive. <laughs> okay, so let's that off. Okay. I'm going to paint some more on this side. I've got some topical anesthetic on her right side, but I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of color over that just so it can soak in. I find that the skin is easy to work on after it's had the topical anesthetic on it. So, so I recommend just following the crease of the eye because that's natural, you know. I'm not going to make any bat wings or anything. When you go home, it's really gonna you're gonna need to keep this cool. So get a baggie and fill it halfway with water, throw in about two or three ice cubes. Okay. Don't put ice directly on your eye. Okay. But since we're working on a larger area, you know, the whole eyelid, mm -hmm. um, you're gonna need some 
Ice cubes. Okay. You can see the little areas that need a little color right, right there, there, there. You can't, but I can. <laughs> <laughs> the camera can. And we'll actually be able to get nice even color, a little more even on the touch up because during the healing process, and you'll feel it, the skin gets pretty tight and that's new baby collagen. And so you really come out of this with a younger eyelid. And uh, it's almost like an anti-aging eyeshadow. So rather than overwork your little baby skin here, I'll, you might have a few little areas that will need more color. But mm Okay, they're a little poofy now, but it'll be real pretty, and I'm going to finish this side, and then we'll go on your lips. Okay.